What if we have a vector b? And what if we would like to know what the component of b is in the direction of a? Now, that component we can picture as with this triangle right here, where this is a uh, right triangle. And what we can do is we can say, well, we don't know what it is, but let's say that this is chi times the vector a. Then what do we know? Well, if we call this vector here c, then we know that b is equal to chi times a plus c, because if you go from here to here, and then you go from here to here, the next net result is that right there. Now, we also know, therefore, that c is equal to b minus chi times a. Hmm. Good. We know that C is orthogonal to A and therefore to chi times A. So, we can then look at A transpose times B minus chi times A and we know that that's equal to zero. Multiplying that out, we get that A transpose times B minus, let's see, A transpose times chi times A is the same as chi times A transpose times A. In the dot product of A with itself. And that must be equal to zero. And if we then solve for chi, we find that chi is equal to A dot product with B divided by a dot product with itself. Okay? And therefore the component in the direction of a is given by a transpose b, a dot product with b, divided by a dot product with itself, times the vector a. Which we can then rearrange as, let's see, a scalar times a vector is the same as a vector times a scalar. So we get a times A transpose B divided by A transpose A. And then we can place some clever parentheses and we get A times A transpose divided by A transpose A times B. And why do I like that so much? I like that so much because this tells me what the matrix is such that when I apply it to any vector I get the component of that vector in the direction of A. Okay, so this is, this is a projection vector. Now, we can then ask ourselves, what's the component of B orthogonal to A? And that we get from the fact that C is equal to B minus chi times A, which now is equal to B minus Let's see, chi was this, so we get A transpose B divided by A transpose A times A, which we can then rewrite as the identity times B minus, and then we can do the same trick of rearranging this. And then we can bring B out. And what we have now is the matrix that when applied to a vector b tells you what the component of that vector b is orthogonal to vector a. Now all of this works too if you use if the vectors a and b are complex valued except that then every time you take a dot product you need to take the Hermitian dot product but the story is the same.